Hello everybody, welcome to the Fat Hadaway. I would like to introduce myself and to talk a little about what is this channel. My name is Carlos Humberto Diaz de Leon Martinez. I am from Mexico. I am a lawyer and this channel, the Fat Hadaway, was created to promote the knowledge, to talk about many interesting topics like history, geography, environment, arts, and much more. Uh, the present year was very hard for everybody. Uh, many things happened during this year, uh, protests be because of the racism, uh, the pandemic. I think that all the problems in the world can, a can have a solution, and this is the education. Uh, for example, the racism uh, can be eradicated with the education. The pandemic, well, we know that we are uh, destroying the nature, and, par and this is one of the reasons why this pandemic appeared. So this is what this channel looks for, to create a better world and to promote the knowledge. Uh, many people say that the 2021 is going to be a better year and everything will end with the change of year. The right thing is that the problems of the mankind will continue forever if we don't, ta don't take action immediately. And, well, uh, obviously, obvi we will have many problems always, but we can have a solution for the problems we have right now. And, well, for example, we will have many problems in the future. Bill Gates said that in the 2040s, pro probably we will have a, another situation like the one we had with the pandemic, so we have to be prepared. And, well, for example, other example, uh, this year in Australia, there was a, a, a disaster, a natural disaster, and it is because of the contamination we are doing to the nature. And, well, even many people were affected. The smoke of the, um, of the carbon dioxide uh, joined into their homes, so this is something affect to us, to everybody. Even the fire uh, contributed to increase the, the contamination. It was a complete disaster. Everything, the solution to everything is the education. And well, uh, also we have to reflect that we have uh, the power to change our communities across the action. We have to think that in this year, uh, probably we didn't know it, but uh, three billion people didn't have water and a soap to wash their hands to accomplish one indication. So this is hard to say, but in the mankind there are people that are very poor and they suffer a lot. We have to, to think that we have the power to change it across the knowledge, the education. And also uh, 150 people, million people right now are poor because of the pandemic. So this is, uh, we have to be worried because of this, because it can generate many problems in the future, from security, employment, development. Uh, just in Latin America, for example, uh, you, uh, it will take one, day, one decade to recover what we lost in this year. So it's very hard to say, but we have to be prepared for all the problems uh, will come in the future, and that solution is the education. And this is what the channel was created. This is why this channel was created. And, well, uh, also I would like to say that if you want, you can visit the website from the Fat Hathaway. In that website, you will find a little more about me, about what is this channel. Uh, you can read my blog. I update this each week, constantly, and also you can acquire one of the courses, it will be offered in the, in the website, if you would like to support the channel, I promise that the content will be from, of quality, and well, uh, you can visit the website, it's www.thefathadaway.com.mx, I hope you like it. Um, the first course is going to be uploaded in the next days, so you can keep an eye on it. And also I would like to invite you to comment 
in the videos because I always answer all the comments. You can make su suggestions, uh, you can say everything. And also I would like to introduce a dynamic. Uh, each week I'm going to update the channel. I'm going to upload, upload new videos. So uh, you can uh, write about a topic you would like to, to see. You, you would like to, to watch in, in this channel. And well, from all the suggestions, I, I could choose one. And each weekend, I could make a video about it. And you could see if your topic won. And I will mention in, I will mention you in the, in the ending of the video. And you can see if you win, if you won. So I, I think um, this channel will be a, a, a great, a great difference to change in the in our communities. I, I, I uh, we can be part of it. And well, I leave you with the first video of this channel. That is the seven wonders of the ancient world. I hope you like it. And see you on the next video. Thank you very much. The seven wonders of the ancient world were the Pyramid of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Temple of Artemis, the Statue of Zeus, the Mausoleum at Alicarnassus, the Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. All of them were a great achievement in engineering, architecture, and artistic beauty in the antiquity, but the majority disappeared very fast. For example, the Colossus of Rhodes just stayed for less than 70 years. Even the Hanging Gardens of Babylon probably never exist. Greece got his expansion in some of the Western world in the year 4 before Christ. These works were chosen by the Greek travelers, especially in the Hellenistic period, which is after the fragmentation of the empire of Alexander the Great in small, powerful Greek states. When they explored other civilizations like the Persians, Egyptians, and Babylonians, they were making a classification of what things to watch, so it was a tourist guide. That's why you can find all of the wonder around the Mediterranean. They started being called the Amara, which means Sykes, by Philo of Byzantium in the year 225 before Christ. And then they were called Taumara, which means wonders, and this happened because of a mistake in the translation according to Charles Ryber. The purpose was not to wonder, instead of that, it was just to have something to see. There are many different lists of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The most popular lists are from the poet Antipater of Sidon and from the mathematical field of Byzantium in the second century. Because of both lists, we have the actual list. Also, there is another list of Callimachus of Cyrene, who was a library of the Library of Alexandria, and who was one of the first to make an enumeration of the wonders in his book about the wonders of all kinds gathered by places. And other lists from, from the Greed and First Historian Herodotus. Even many authors believe he made the first list. It's important to mention that Herodotus died in 425 before Christ. And in this year, the Prince Mausolus didn't start to rule in Caria. The Colossus of Rhodes didn't exist and the city of Alexandria was not even planned. The definitive list was ready until the Dutch painter Mertin van Hemskerk made in the 16th century seven paintings representing the seven wonders. Everything was based in their personal opinion. For example, there were lists that include the door of Easter from Babylon instead of the lighthouse of Alexandria. The Greeks chose the number seven because they believed that number had a spiritual meaning and it represents perfection probably because of the sum of the five planets discovered in that time, plus the sum and the moon. The Great Pyramid of Giza still exists in the north of Egypt. Even it was taken out from the competition of the seven new wonders of the world because it got a special mention. It is the most antique built wonder. It was in the 2500 before, year before Christ. And it is the only wonder that has survived that time with more than 4,500 years. Its surface of white stone survived until 1,300 years 
year after Christ, because the local communities removed a great part to get construction materials. Actually, the pyramidion and the coating have disappeared. From all the wonders, three were created for religious purposes. The Colossus of Rhodes, the Statue of Zeus in Olympia. From these two, we just have pictures in coins and descriptions of the, of the second one. And the third was the temple in Ephesus to Artemis. We have descriptions, representations, and rest of the lighthouse, the temple, and the mausoleum. The Colossus of Rhodes is the only one that appeared in all the lists and was the last to be completed after the year of 280 before Christ. Also the first to be destroyed by an earthquake in 226 or 225 before Christ. For many experts, the temple of Artemis was the most beautiful wonder from all. There was not a uniform criterion to choose the wonders. In the different lists, we can find buildings, sculptures, and even entire cities. Two of the wonders were built for hedonistic purposes, the mausoleum at Alicarnassus and the hanging gardens of Babylon. Two for practical reasons, the lighthouse of Alexandria and the great pyramid of Giza. That was built probably to keep busy the people from the unified Egyptian kingdom due to the flood of the farmlands according to the theory of Kurt Mendelssohn. There were lists of wonders in the time of Rome and the High Middle Ages. Roman and Christian sites were included in these lists, for example, the Colosseum, Noah's Ark, and the Solomon's Temple. Five of the seven wonders were destined to Greek celebrations of arts and culture, except the Great Pyramid of Giza and the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, that probably never exist. It proves the Greek, the great Greek influence. The artistic and architectonic features of the wonders were imitated in the Hellenistic world and beyond. Even we can see the Greek influence in the Roman culture and how the Greco-Roman artistic styles touch the artists and travelers from the Renaissance. All the wonders exist at the same time in a short period of time of less than 70 years. What a great fortune had the people who lived in that time and could see some of the wonders with their own eyes. In the next video, I'm going to be showing many details about each one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Thank you very much. Let's keep learning to build a better world.